What really wows audiences about War Horse is just the fact that it's so astonishing, both in the epic scale of its storytelling and in the heart of what it has to say. It really is about how you face the challenge of narrating a story when the star actually doesn't speak. And that is beautifully addressed with the Handspring Puppet Company from South Africa. Joey is the star of War Horse. He's the Red Bay farm horse from Devon, England. And the story follows his journey as he's inscripted into the Army for service and his owner, Albert, who's a teenager who then embarks on a very dangerous mission to find the horse he loves and bring him home. We're cheering for the horses. We fear for the horse's safety. We're so drawn in and almost reflects back to us about what it is we value, what we look for in relationships, and how much we covet a conversation with someone who actually isn't speaking back to us. War Horse strikes a different chord in you than the other shows we have on the season. Somewhat because it is a play and plays dig deeper into our psyche. You spend more time thinking and listening and less time singing along, just by the nature of what it is. So in this particular instance, War Horse provides us that vehicle. So 100 years after we in Cleveland were shipping steel-clad vehicles and munitions to our allies, they are shipping us back this fabulous production that finally lets us hear from the voiceless heroes from the war to end all wars. War Horse has won five Tony Awards. And I have to tell you, this is a do not miss. It's gonna be here in April of 2013 Mark your calendars and be here because you'll never ever see it produced like this again in our lifetime. <laughs>